good morning. My name is Anna, and this is Lucas. This is the light of my life. You can go play. This is a. Uh, it's 11, 11, and we're up in the mountains, and we have been healing for a couple of days. As many of you know, we've been kind of in a grieving process, and that's been very honoring of the person that we love, but it's definitely helped us to realize how intensely we feel. Um, part of the reason I wanted to introduce you guys to Lucas is because Lucas is the light of my life. He's a, his name means the bearer of the light or the bringer of the light and Luke, which I call him for short, L-U-C, means light. So um, when he came into my life, whoo, there's the sun behind my head. When he came into my life, he, he brought the light and a lot of things started to change. So I wanted to spend some time today just talking about light. What is light? Um, well, first of all, light is information. Light is, light is information. It is, at, at the deepest level, um, everything that you can see is light on a protonic level, including this blank space right here is filled with like a plasmatic light. Um, our bodies are made of light that is vibrating at different densities. Basically everything in the universe is light and sound uh, oscillating at different speeds and frequencies. So something that's denser um, is gonna feel and look different than something that's less dense, but ultimately everything is, is light. Now, um, information is one of the things that changes the world. That's one of the things that gives me such incredible hope about our current situation on our planet is that no matter how much fear people try to give a, uh, to like reign over us with, we have access to information and information is light. Um, we have an ability to access knowledge that was just almost, imp not almost impossible, very, very, very impossible for people to have that kind of access to even, even a, a few years ago, relatively. So, um, you know, the, the very same technology that I'm holding in my hands and the very same technology that keeps people from connecting at their own dinner tables is the same technology that's making it so that I can connect with someone in Somalia and Nigeria and Rome and Egypt and Costa Rica and Pennsylvania and Florida and Utah all within an hour of each other. So it really is um, a contrasting time to be uh, living on planet Earth, but really it's a wonderful time. It is the wonderful time. It is the greatest time in human history to be alive and part of the reason why is how much access we have to information, to light. Um, not to mention that we as a humanity are just about to go through like a major cosmic evolution which is driven by love and light. So. Um, Light is the proverbial apple. Light is Eve handing Adam the apple and saying, it's time for us to partake of knowledge. It's time for us to learn stuff. It's time for us to understand things to a deeper level. Um, light is, <laughs> light is what inspires the change. Love is what nurtures the change. And those two things together create a really beautiful evolutionary future for our family but um, first you must seek knowledge and seeking knowledge requires being willing to ask questions it requires being willing to challenge yourself on what you've believed to be true previously but um, it doesn't have to be a brutal process it can be a very fun process as long as you focus on the love and the light uh, I do want to take a second just to explain that Light does have, you know, thoughts even in themselves have gravity. When you have a, when a neurologist is gonna hook your brain up to, to machines and, and check your wiring, <laughs> your internal wiring, um, thoughts create a little wave. And that wave has gravity. Now clearly it doesn't have as much gravity as a sun or as a planet, but it does have gravity. And when you have a lot of thoughts about something, that creates a lot of gravity, which means if you focus your thoughts on fearful things or the bad things that are happening, um, no matter what your intention is, even if your intention is to help those bad things go away, 
the fact is you're going to create gravity towards the things that you want um, that you want to not see. So what we want to see is kindness. So we focus on the kindness. What we want to see is healing within our political system. So we focus on the heroes that are um, trying to change the system and focus on putting our gravity into that. Uh, we focus on the humanitarian efforts that are going on. We focus on the human innovation and how freaking brilliant we are as a humanity. We focus on the fact that when people are truly inspired to change, it doesn't take them 10 years, it doesn't take them even five years. And when people are truly deeply inspired to change, they can change very quickly. And the reason why is because of the light. The light is what changes people, but you must allow it to come in. You must seek knowledge. You must um, love yourself enough to recognize that you are worthy of uh, trying to recognize your own magnificence because it's in there. My recording got cut off. <laughs> know that there are a lot of loving people out there that want to see you succeed, that love you, that even if they don't know you yet, they they are on a path to help other people. And if you seek out those people, they can really help to improve your life. I know that I am one of those people. And I do know that my entire mission in life and my husband's mission in life and uh, a lot of other people that we are in touch with, their missions in life are to help see the love and the light on this planet in increase. But um, make no mistake, there's tons of people out there who love you that just want to help make your life better. And if you seek those people, you will be in in incredibly amazed at how the gravity of those things changes and how as your life changes, you'll notice that the ripple effect around you is that you really actually do have effect on the world around you. You can positively impact it just by focusing today on the things that are going well. Now, um, as I'm coming through the grieving process, that is an interesting thing to say, but it doesn't mean don't honor the fact that you have legitimate feelings. It means honor them so that you can move forward um, and, and and move forward from a really authentic place of healing so that you can focus on the light again and um, hopefully turn around and help try to make the world just a little bit better place because people like that totally deserve it. And I just want to point out that he's rocking an awesome shirt. Real quick. Now after you're done with this, can Hold on one the... second. Let's... let's Ask nice. after I'm done recording this. Um, a little kindness changes everything. We we know kindness changes everything, huh, buddy? You it's the why? magic. It's the magic ingredient. Do why you don't you give I me have... a peace sign? Give me a peace sign. I'm pretty sure my tiny human's looking for a conversation now, so I'm gonna end this now. But I encourage you to seek the light today, and if you'd like help, I'm here to help, and I know a lot of other people who are too, including my husband. Love and light. Bye.